We're back, everyone, and I decided to bring a guest for the last part because he's helping me recover from all the fucking jump scares. My buddy, Keando. Hello. He's going to watch the making of with me. And by the way, he thought Igor was hilarious. Me. Really? You had to put us through two more parts of this bullshit. Oh no, this is part two. Part three is coming up next. Fuck me. Ooh. That would have been creepy. Concept art, that's nice. It was looking for like a video or something. I'm actually disappointed. I wanted a video, damn it. Well, you didn't expect. You know what's scary here? The fucking rendering. That just probably went through. This shit probably took like two years to render. Previous game came out ten years ago. Well, I mean, didn't we used to have those in school? <laughs> God, I remember those fuckers. That's your two thousand five, right there. 1995 right there that's how you that's how you that's how you freaking uh brainwash somebody in the 90s or the early 2000s depending on if you didn't upgrade your equipment or not oh the car crash scene oh my goodness First scene in the game, and yes, yeah, somehow our car didn't fucking catch fire! No. Yeah, it's like winter in this. Of course it is. You didn't expect to be no frozen bastard in the summer, did you? Cause that would be... That would be amazing. Talk Especially back. if you live in, like, Georgia. This game is made in Russia, so we probably are in si fucking Siberia! No. Yeah. Of course it's fucking Russian. Crows are a big thing in this game, too. Yeah, this area drove, like, some of these areas drove me completely bonkers, because, again, like, I was playing this totally blind. And sketches. By the way, this dude's dead. <laughs> no, we actually listened to his tapes. I felt so bad for the poor guy. Oh! Oh, God! Look! Look what we have sketch art of! See, that's not what I expected. Not semi-realistic! Oh god. Oh. Like that. Oh, by the way, this is something we had to poke. Oh boy. Hey, it looks like something you surely should poke. <laughs> Life advice from Keando. You see a weird demonic statue with four faces and two arms that you can pose with four snakes in front of it? Poke it! Okay. 
Bro, what's out there? I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to see. What this? Yeah, what's that at the top? Oh, this fucking jump scare. <laughs> see, you pick up a mask, and then your ghostly sister triplet friend. So that was funsies. By the way, here's how they described Mr. Cult. Yeah, he was kind of a dick. Yeah. By the way, this is us. You're a dumbass. Well, I mean, I got some friggin' dumbass blonde bitch, so I mean, what were you gonna do? She tried to turn on a damn light in her car. There's a reason your mama said not to turn not to turn that damn light on. It's because you crashed the car. And look, the bitch crashed the car. What do you know? Also, I'm sorry, but they also decided to uh, rip off Fallout a little bit. <laughs> they did. Technically, this doll is our friend, but obviously... Don't trust no motherfucking doll. Don't trust nobody. Don't trust no doll. Don't trust... Don't trust nobody. Oh yeah. Goblins, great job. You gave me a fucking heart attack. <laughs> and my friend's laughing at The car was scarier, in my opinion. What was scarier? The concept art. Why was... It just looked better. Well, to be fair, they're, that's like hand-drawn versus... Yeah, I know. You... Can't really do like that style as a video game easily. That probably would have taken even longer. And you gotta admit, some of the jump scares, they did a pretty damn good job. Especially if you're going through the game and you're slowly building up to it, they work. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously just showing you them out of context. They're not gonna be as scary and for me they're not gonna be as scary because I already saw them. <laughs> And they don't overuse them either. Like, you go, like, about 90% of the game without a jump scare. So. But when you do... I actually... Keep on, I actually screamed at one of them. I can't wait to see that shit. Dude, that is late in the game, though. That is, like, toward the end of it, so... It won't be for a while. But I assure you, you are, you're going to be, like, writing in the comments, ha ha. It's not, and it's not even in the cutscenes, because it's like a jump, like, it's like a little jump scare in 
It's like, what it is is that you have to go through this, like, archive piece and you have a timer light. So every time you find something, the light goes off. So you have to go back and turn the light on. It's night vision goggles to find your way around. Because, of course, you do a flashlight. Because you've never encountered a jump scare with the goggles before. <clears throat> and the goggles have like a very limited area. It's like you're seeing through like a pair of like glasses and it's tunnel vision that you can move around. <laughs> so, yeah. And clearly I'm not spoiling anything because, uh, this is the end of the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed my suffering. <laughs> also, seriously, fuck that shower puzzle. Enjoy your suffering. <laughs> and, uh, Goblin? Dolly is up to what this three soul thing is all about. Um, also, maybe the next one I'll drag my friends along with so I don't have to suffer alone. <coughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> and no, I don't think we're gonna get to play with E or the Stone Man again. <coughs> the fuck do we get in- how- do I, I'm gonna, like, figure out what I'm gonna play next as well. I think I'm gonna play something a little less jump scary. <laughs> That's gonna bite me in the ass, isn't it? So, I will catch you guys later. Remember, if we're still in quarantine, stay home, or I'll come over and send Igor after you. <laughs> Oh, come on. You know that would be funny as hell. Bruh, it's May. You gonna melt. <laughs> he might appreciate it. You gonna melt. <laughs> Do you ever look nobody, too nobody wants the, the soggy man at the door. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Soggy man who could do weird shit with his head and neck. I'll tell you, his C2 must be out or something. I think all of his spine is out at that point. The ice turns his bones to fucking rubber. <laughs> that is the I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> well, apparently that's how it works in Ghosty Goo Land. I don't know. I don't know how he... I don't know how ghosts do that. Because... Ghosts. Dead people can do fuck up shit with their neck. Ooh, what if the next game has the twist of Igor tries to kill us? No. Probably not, but they did say he had violent tendencies in life, so... Not exactly a ghost we wanted to meet. Yeah. So, later guys. Remember, stay inside or I'll sick Igor on you. And he is violent, so you'll be dead. Bye!